people, Jeff the King here with Team Critical Trigger bringing you another deck profile and this is an update on my Gold Paladins as you can probably guess here and well I wasn't happy with, happy with Spectral Duke Dragon uh, as one of my friends states and I fully agree with him it's a good ride chain, it's just a bad card uh, Spectral Duke is just He's terrible, I just do not enjoy using him, so I've changed it for now, it will be changing again once set 7 comes out, because Pelinor is the build I really want to be using, but for now this is going to have to do, and it's pretty much, well it is the only deck I currently own, so it's going to have to do. It's currently trying to make another deck, I was trying to do Spike Brothers, but everybody wants to do Spike Brothers, and nobody wants to get rid of the cards, so I'm just going to have to give up on them. Because I don't really have the money right now, so we'll get into it anyway. We've got our starting vanguard, which is Little Fighter Kron, simply because this is Garmor Gold Paladin. So using uh, the superior ride isn't happening whatsoever, so the only other actual option right now is this guy. So, not amazing, but searching for a grade 3, it can come in useful very every so often. So, going for him, so we'll quickly go through the triggers. Four heal triggers. Four draw triggers. Now I'm still half and half about this guy. Once it's a Pelinor build this will be staying in 100% but at the moment I'm still half and half because I very rarely call from the deck. I don't have that many cards that call and when I finish the deck how I will want it to be it'll be even less cards that call so you know. Uh, I run three of this crit and four of this crit so that's seven crit all together and then one stand. Now originally I was running one stand because I can't find another of this guy. Nobody has him, uh, the only way you get him is from the starter deck, I actually didn't buy the starter deck whatsoever, I just traded shit off people that bought the starter deck and then no longer wanted it. So <laughs> nobody has a spare of him because anyone that's bought the starter deck has bought it to use for him anyway. But I'm kind of starting to enjoy just having one stand trigger, it saved me quite a few times and has come in handy so I think I might keep it with just one stand trigger in. Uh, four of the 8k grade, uh, 8k grade 1 vanilla is what I was trying to say. Two charge gull. Two Nemu. Three perfect guard. And two Sligle dagger. Now I've put these things to the side because this is part of the deck that's currently incomplete. These two Nemu will be leaving. I'm not going to be running either of them and I'll be running Three charge gull once I get a third, and four perfect guards once I get a fourth. So they won't be staying in. Next thing we have is grade two, which is three of the 10k vanilla. Four Vivian. Very, very good card. I say I don't call much in this deck, even though I run four Vivian, because you very rarely get her effect off. Every so often I get her effect off, and it, it's it's kind of nice, I mean, your opponent doesn't want to waste a card in their hand because they want it and they allow you to hit and uh, you call a Gamma from the top of your deck like I did in the tournament I just won and yeah, it's very very nice but I will only be running free Vivian once I get a third of the next card which is currently two trip. I want to get rid of a third Vivian so I'm running free trip, free Vivian because they both do the same thing, they're applying pressure and I like to apply pressure. Y your opponent generally wants to block your cards I love cards that make them do that, it's why one of my favourite cards of all time will forever be Stealth Dragon Voidmaster, which I think is what my next deck will do with, I'll be using something that runs Voidmaster, because I love it to bits. Two of the 10k Interceptor, the, uh, I can never remember his name, something Lion, because I'm not even going to try to pronounce that and embarrass myself, and now my grade threes are very incomplete at the moment, I have three of this guy, which is the, when he's boosted goes up by 2000. Two Gigatech, is it Gigantech? Gigantech Destroyer? And two Garmor. That's right, I won a Hobby League tournament with uh, Garmor and Gold Paladin that only has two Garmors in. Th this is how consistent the deck is. This is. I pretty much had every game I had at least one of these, but I'm obviously still not happy. I'm thinking I've kind of decided on getting rid of these two guys for two more Garmors because. As much as I love the artwork, it's just so much easier to pull this guy off, because I don't always want to be attacking the vanguard. I mean, I love the fact that I can get a free 2000 attack just for attacking the vanguard, but boosting? I, I don't really like the 2000 boosters in most other decks, but in things like Gold Paladin and Royal Paladin, let's face it, you're going to have 
a full bloody field. I always have a full field. <laughs> Garmor pretty much promises me to, and Vivian, they pretty much promise me to have a full bloody field. So uh, I think I'm going to keep it with three of the Holy Mage and then f it'll be four Garmor altogether, getting rid of two of these guys. So that was just a quick run through of my Gold Paladin deck. One, my very first Hobby League that I've ever won and my only ever Hobby League that I've ever entered because I've only entered two. So that was my second ever entered Hobby League and I won it with this, so I, the, the deck's done me proud. I, I like the deck, but it will be switching, literally, be like, there'd be three Garmore and four Pelinor. That's what I'm going to be running. And the rest of the deck, I, I, I'll tell you again, because I will actually be doing another deck review, on well, a deck check on my Gold Paladins once it's the Pelinor build. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's just a quick run through, I don't think you guys need me to explain every card in this deck. It, it, I just wanted to get through it quickly to show you guys that I've gone away from Spectral Duke because so should you. So please do a like, please comment and please subscribe if you haven't already and this is me signing out.